Mr. Direct. I had somebody hit me up on the inbox on my page and they said, um, hey, I have a problem with women. I can't stand the way the women act. I even have a bigger issue with the women that talk on your page, the way they act helpless and like victims. I was like, hey, it's real talk. You can talk how you want. You can talk how you want, baby. Doesn't make a difference. Now, what caught me off guard was it was an ex-co-worker of mine of said company, but I can't say the company, and it was a girl. So I said, of course, you know what? I brushed the cameras down here. I jumped on, on, on 94 to 36, down to Oakdale. I thought it was a long drive, but I went through some towns I wasn't sure of. But basically, this is my point. I want to introduce y'all to Sasha. Sasha is, is, is one of the coolest chicks I've met. She's real cool people. She always likes to say things. And, and your man, Mr. Direct, always, always, always holds a level of respect for people that holds a level of respect for him and what he does with his craft. So, uh, Sasha, you don't like women. Not at all. And here's why. So, these girls today, they're like, okay, I'm going to put out on hello. And then they're wondering why he didn't call the next morning. Are you kidding me? Right, he's going to call you. You're either A, his hump and dump, or his donkey. You know what the difference between a donkey and a hump and dump is? We gotta back up a, back a second. A hump and dump? What's a hump and dump? Exactly what it is. You hump her, then you dump her, and you never call her again. But, okay, but, okay, hold on. Now, we're in 2012. There's a lot of women out there that like that shit. They think that they were gonna be men. And they like that shit. Well, that's fine, but then the woman expects, Oh, he was so nice, he's gonna call me the next day. Of course he ain't gonna call you. Come on, you spread your legs open, you put it in you, that's it. That's a hump and dump. But, okay, now let's back up a second. What's wrong with a woman being sexually aggressive and saying, I wanna fuck the way a man wanna fuck? I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with that, but the expectations gotta be there. If you're putting yourself out there like that, you can't cry and be like, oh, I wanna date. I don't know why I'm not dating. I don't know why he didn't call me do back. You, do you think it's a control thing? Like, it's okay when a woman does it, but then she does it and she doesn't call back because she's like, that's what it is. As opposed to some of the girls that think that that's what they're doing, but then they're destroyed when the guy doesn't call back. Well, I think that's the problem. You nailed it on the head. Because they're expecting that phone call and they're like, well, we had a connection. And to tell you the truth, there is no connection. But, what, the, but the connection was made up by guys. The whole, oh, I'm connected with you, I'm feeling you, I'm but digging that's just you. That's a line, come on. But I mean, of course it's a line, but bitches like to have fucking lines. Well, absolutely, but they need to see it for what it is. I mean, but, oh, come on now. Women like lines. Oh, like, absolutely. So, hey, absolutely. Sell a hoe, ladies and gentlemen out there, sell a hoe a drink, right? Everybody knows that. Absolutely. Tell her she's pretty. Tell her her ass looks nice. She's going to melt. Well, I mean, you don't want to tell a butterfish she's pretty. You can tell her she's got nice titties. Well, but if you tell her she's pretty, she'll give you a hug. Come on. Have you ever been a victim of that? Of the butterfish? Not the butterfish, <laughs> but of the, if a guy's been like, oh, you're pretty, you gave him head because he told you you was pretty. I Honestly. Give him head. No. What do you mean you don't give head? I don't give head. You need to watch my video about fellatio. You might want to give head. I did, and here's the thing. If you're not going to put you're all into it, then just don't do it. I don't do it. So you basically have come to the conclusion that you ain't ever going to suck dick, so you let the man know up front. Don't expect to get the head work. Well, absolutely. If they want to give me head, the understanding is I won't give you head back. God damn, that sounds selfish as a motherfucker, yo. Well, absolutely. Gotta play the game. You guys can do it, I can do it too. If you were involved in a deep relationship with this guy, would you give him head? Well, if I was in a relationship, if I'm not in a relationship, forget it. I ain't doing that for you, who the hell are you? I think for the first time, Mr. Direct has reached a, point, a moment of speechlessness. I've never had a woman be that rugged about it, so I'm a little confused right now about this. But we're, we're going to keep going with this conversation, so we're going to back up into it. What was your other things? Because I got my own things that I can say that women are stupid about. What was your thing that you're going to say women are stupid about? I mean, we're going to keep going back and forth and fill this out. So All go right, ahead. so we got our hump and dumps. Okay. Then we got the donkey. So the donkey okay. is a step up from a hump and dump. And now, a donkey's not necessarily ugly. It's all in the intonation, right? Mm -hmm. So she can be a damn donkey or damn donkey. Okay. So, ugly or pretty, but she is the girl you will call. But mm -hmm. this is right around the 1 a.m., bar's about to close, you struck up. But that's the booty call. Exactly. So that's the donkey. Like, but I mean, like, you know, okay, me, I'm a little bit older than you. 
Not by much. By the way, my birthday's coming up. Y'all bitches better have my shit. But I'm just saying, all right, you kind of know when you get the 2 o'clock a.m. call that that's what that is. I'm coming over. I'm drunk. I want to be nailed off, and I'm good. But you'd be surprised. These women, they're like, oh, he really likes me. Look, he called. We're in a relationship because he actually called back. And that's when you bitches start throwing beer bottles at the man's house. Don't do it. He's not interested. You let him do it to you. Come back on. up, back up, back up. Beer bottles at people's houses? Oh, yeah. So that happened to a friend of mine. We won't name any names on video, but uh, this Sean. bitch... Sean. <laughs> actually, got <laughs> Sean. This bitch stood outside, was screaming in the driveway about 7 o'clock at night, throwing beer bottles. He told his neighbors that she was some crazy from down maybe, the street. Maybe Sean got good dick. <laughs> I mean, maybe he, he... Look, here's my thing. This is what I'll notice about women. Y'all can be upset. I don't care. What I've noticed about women is... A lot of y'all get mediocre sex when you decide you're going to fuck. You get a dude that doesn't know what to do, doesn't know how to lick the pussy, doesn't know how to kiss, doesn't know how to get you stimulated, right? You get a motherfucker that's mastered the art of sucking on nipples, playing with your neck, playing with your ear, getting you all wet and moist, and then he fucks the shit out of you. Now, he gave you two different types of orgasms. He gave you a clitoral and he gave you an internal. Now, you fucked up! Because you thought the shit was just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna let him fuck me. And he's gonna be like every other lame dumb. Fellas, learn to eat pussy. Learn to smash that ass with your dick. And I'm telling you, if you warm her up with your tongue and a dick follow and you got good dick, it'll always be the craziest thing in the world. I'm just saying, if y'all don't know, y'all better know. But